Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you the new option and that's going to be the layer options. We have finished the toolbar, we finished the file, we finished edit, and we finished image and today we'll be learning the layer options. Well, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe for more updates and click the bell icon too. So let's get started. The layer option, all this 80 to 90 percent is also in the layer panel here. So I'll show you correspondingly how both function. So the first option we start is new. It's new layer. When I click new layer, I can give it a name, say new. And I say OK, a new layer opens here. The same is as adding over here, new layer. So I'll delete it. Next, new layer from background. Now, say for example, I make a new copy this layer and I name it layer 1. And this one I name it layer 0. Now, if I want to make this back into background, the default original background layer, I can go to layer, new, background from layer. It converts it back to background. Layer, new, group. So, if I make one more layer, test, and I make something over here. A square and I make one more layer circle and I put a circle here now if I move this only the circle will move if I move a rectangle rectangle label move if I want to move both together I can just select both layers and I can either click on this icon group or I can layer new group from layers okay and it combines both the layers inside the group but if I only say group layer new group it just makes a new folder group and then I need to add this inside the layers that's the difference between the two group and group from layers so next if you have any doubts any questions please do post it in the comment section and, and i'll be happy to answer it now artboard artboard is something that you can use it's for mobile development and various formats i'll show you now for example if i want to convert this full thing into artboard it's a layer sorry layer new artboard and I've got options here for iPhone, Android, mobile design, web design, MacBook, and I can select whatever. Say I will select uh, for iPhone 6 Plus. Okay. So you see, it's made the artboard as per the iPhone 6 dimensions, and I can work in that. But you'll not be using that much in Photoshop for basics. Then layer. Same goes with artboard from group and artboard from layers. We'll not be studying this because it's not that important for now. Layer by a copy makes a copy of a layer. The same as you drag it to the new layer and you'll get a copy. So that completes this. Now copy CSS. This is again used for web design and all. Like for example, say if I put, I write my name Trevor. Uh, 
font so agency i make it bold i make points so and so agency and my font size and 48 maybe 60 sorry i just in the wrong part i make this a 60 or 72 now photoshop has got option where you can copy CSS the same as layer copy CSS and if I open notepad I can paste the CSS so it's copied my name it's made a class it's for web design and little programming for the cascading style sheets that's CSS it's taken the font and pixels font family agency color black and it's put a lot of things so this can be used for your web design aspect not very useful for now but yes it's useful for developers and designers with developing knowledge so let's hide this layer copy svg is again a different thing which i'm not explained right now because i myself don't use it right now now see i want to duplicate the layer so i can say layer duplicate layer so if i have my name here that's a layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer and i get one more copy it's made a duplicate of layer it's the same as i drag it here and i get a copy same okay layer delete so i can delete the layer selected whichever layer you select you can delete it layer hidden layers layer delete the hidden layer i have hidden it here and i can delete it this was deleting visible layers this is deleting hidden layers okay in layer quick export as png now i can export this layer only that's trevor as a png layer i'll export it as a png so i'll save it over here and if i go to my explorer On, and you see here it's saved it as a PNG file. So only the layer it's taken and saved it. Now the next option is layer export as. Excuse me, PC is a little slow. You've got different options over here where you can play around with the option, and once you're ready, you export it. But I don't use these options right now. The best option is file, and over here, you've got export to whatever you want. Okay. This is the most convenient one. Export, export as. Where is that com? This one. Export it for the web, and you've got a lot of options here also. JPG, GIF, and all the basics. But this one I rarely use, and I'm sure you also not be using it much. Export as. Next is the rename layer. Now you see my, my layer name over here is Trevor. Here it's layer one. Say I want to rename this to circle. Either I can double click it and write it circle.
rename or I can go to layer rename layer so you can choose whatever you want next is smart filter so as you see the smart filter is not highlighted for that you need to for example I go to layer 1 that's my background copy this one I highlight it I go to filter convert to smart filter say ok now I apply a filter say stylize or paint and you see this filter it's normal this is oil paint effect and this is normal effect so I'll say ok now I go to layer smart filter as you can see over here there's a smart filter applied oil paint and it's all masked over here so now for example I can smart filter I can disable smart filter it disables over here layer smart filter enable smart filter it's again enabled it you can see the eyes layer smart filter delete filter mask there was a mask here you could see a white box it's gone I'll explain masking in detail a little later and go back in layer smart filter disable filter mask it's just disabled it it's not deleted it but it's disabled the mask over here then undo it layer smart filter clear smart filter it will come back to original state so that's the options then layer new fill layer say I'll fill a new layer to clean but I will for example make another rectangle circle sorry and I will change the color to say red now I'll fill this circle in a new layer so layer fill new layer solid color it will take my red color selected I can change to whatever I want also ok so it comes in a new layer Layer, new adjustment layer. You see the new adjustment layer here has got lots of options. You can practice all these options and this shortcut here too. These are all adjustment layers. So say for example my name I put over here Trevor. I make a layer or I take this circle. I go to layer new adjustment layer and say I want to make it I think better it's, I'll, I'll select the layer background layer and now I'll say layer new adjustment layer brightness and contrast so ok now you can see here there's one adjustment layer added and it will affect my brightness and contrast of the layer 1 which is selected so there's a adjustment layer added only to layer 1 it will not affect the triangle or sorry the rectangle circle nothing ok now layer layer content options so say for example uh, this is not highlighted so for example I make a adjustment layer say gradient I say ok now I can go to layer and layer content options and I can modify whatever I want in this adjustment if not I can just double click it and I'll get the same thing and modify whatever you want and uh, whatever then layer mask it's now for example over here this is mask you can add a layer mask say for example I add a layer mask now if I select the black color as a foreground color and I use my brush tool I can 
delete from the layer and if I inverse my foreground color to white and I brush it I can add the deleted part back so it's masking the layer it's called masking okay now layer layer mask I can delete it oh, layer layer mask transparency layer layer mask reveal layer layer mask disable it disables the layer mask it's not deleted it I go to layer layer mask unlink will only unlink the link I can from here From a transparency, a layer, layer mask. You can play around with these options. So, for example, if I click, hold the control button and click the icon over here on the layers, you will make a selection on that layer. So now, layer, layer mask. Reveal all it adds a mask layer layer mask Red. layer layer mask hide all it's hidden the contents layer layer mask reveal selection only this portion is revealed by hiding a selection layer layer mask hide selection it's taken away the full object along with the um, selection layer layer mask and transparency that was the before option which i taught you so next let's go for a clipping mask now what is a clipping mask for example uh, say this layer is white color now this circle i want to put half of it inside the rectangle so i take my circle layer on top of the rectangle this i name it rectangle so for example you just select the top layer and you say layer to create the mask you see the circle is gone inside the layer it's the same as you can just hold the control key on your keyboard and come between you hold so you hold the alt key and you come in between the two layers and you will see your cursor changing you click and it adds a clipping mask same if not, you can go to layer, create clipping mask. It's the same. Okay. Now layer, vector mask is the same, but when you are playing with vector objects, now we are just dealing with normal uh, objects, pixelated ones. So this one leaves the clipping mask, we got it, smart objects. Now you can convert any object into a smart object. For example, say I, I convert this layer 1 to a smart object. Either I can right click and convert to smart object. See so here the icon changes. If not, I can go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. Now what happens is, a smart object, see for example, I double click it. It opens the layer as a new file. And now if I make some changes, say I brush here or something. Now I save this file. You see it open one more file here. File, I say save. Then I close it. Whatever changes I made in this file will reflect in my main file. 
it will link them see this is the file smart object it's linked so now say i convert my text layer into a smart object same as can right click and convert or layer smart object convert to smart object now you see i cannot use the text tool to edit it so what i will do i will double click the icon on the layer panel and i will make it lewis i'll edit it i'll be okay it's cut off my canvas size is small so i use the crop tool and i will increase it and i will say file save yes close and it's added over here that's easy oops what happened okay, because it's on crop tool so the crop preview can it's okay let's deselect it then we go to layer all the similar options for a smart object i'll be making a separate tutorial for smart objects so please stay tuned and uh, please view that so now for example new smart object via copy we'll make a copy of the same layer control z layer smart objects update modified content so for example i'm modifying this again so uh, L. Layer, layer small objects update all modified content or if I can go back layer small object it's the same so I will just file save layer small object update for more file content and doesn't matter it's basically just used to update the content that you modify so if you have modified a lot of uh, smart objects you can just click the update all modified and it will update everything into this main file please see the full tutorial on smart objects which i'll be making later so now i'll say edit contents it comes to the same thing as double clicking the smart object icon layer smart object relink to file so for example um, i made this also a smart object so for example layer smart object relink to file so i now replace it with this graphic it changes the file now we got layer smart objects replace content is almost the same as replacing the content so it's deleted my background for me and it's replaced with the lady layer layer mask oh sorry smart objects mm. export content will only export this layer content to a file cancel layer smart object embed or link convert to linked stack mode and rasterize till stack mode will not be using much but rasterize will convert it and flatten it to, to a normal pixel basically it will take off all the smart features see it's gone it's just the normal file now you cannot edit it anymore 
background same as this if I go to this one and I say player smart object rasterize that's it now I cannot modify this text I cannot do anything to it only I can modify the color and effects but I cannot change the wordings the letters cannot be modified so it's always good to leave it as a smart object now layer okay so we come to video layers we I'll not be explaining because we are not doing video here rasterize is the same as converting the text into a flat layer that means you can't edit the text like for example it's the same as right click and rasterize layer it converts it and removes the icon from you so layer rasterize Either you rasterize this layer, it's the same as right click and rasterize layer, or you layer and rasterize all layers. That means all layers, this was a smart object, this was a text object, it will rasterize everything. Layer, rasterize. If you have a fill content, it will rasterize the fill content. If you have a shape, it will rasterize the shape. So whatever you have, it will rasterize those things. Type, for example, if I have a separate type, only a type layer, say Lewis, and it will layer rasterize only the type. Cannot edit anymore. Okay. So next, we go to. new layer base slice it makes it a slice you can see these lines that are added basically you can slice these images and save them into separate files that means i can save this as one file this as one file this as one file and this as one file so this could be one file here this would be one file this would be two this would be three and this would be four but it's made the slices based on the layer now for example if i choose another layer say this layer the circle layer new layer based on slice it makes it a slice as per this layer but you will not need it for now at least let's undo that back now layer group layers so for example i want to select one hold the shift key two hold the shift key three and i say layer group layers it's grouped it here now i say layer ungroup layer it's ungrouped it now you can see the eye over here that means it's visible so if i say layer hide layers it will hide these three layers it's gone i can either bring it back over here or I can layer show layers it's it back so you can hide from here and you can show from your scene now layer arrange now bring to forward bring backward is basically very simple say so I keep the white behind the gray in the front so when I say layer arrange send backward it will send it one layer backward if i say layer arrange send to back will send it last so it's basically gone behind this image now i'll say layer arrange bring forward it will bring it one layer forward that means it just move it to here if I say layer, arrange, bring to front, it will bring it right in the front. Yeah. Okay. Now layer, combine shapes. First, I need to make a shape. So I make a new layer. I take my shapes tool and I make one rectangle layer. You make sure when you select the shapes tool, you select shape here. Now I will select make a rectangle and new layer. I 
gonna make a circle. Okay. Now there I select both layer combined shapes. I can either unite it so they become one. I can layer so you select both the layers and you say layer okay. sorry so I select both the layers and I say layer combine shape you can subtract you can unite shapes at overlap so only the middle portion remains or you can subtract shapes and overlap so only the outer part is remaining and the middle part is gone like this so you can please play with the options and see each option as it suits you the best now layer align so for example if I say I select my two layers layer align I can either align it on top middle bottom or left horizontal center and right so for example I make a top so it's aligned on top so I layer align bottom it will align bottom layer align horizontal middle so that's how we just play around and see how what is what now layer distribute is the same as align So now for distribute you need to make at least three layers have to be selected so for example say I'll make one more layer and I will make it into a custom shape say okay now I can use select one layer hold shift two three I go to layer distribute so it again it's the same thing but it's distributing it so layer distribute vertical it's adjusting it on the center axis layer distribute bottom layer distribute left so it's basically everything is based on the center axis okay now layer block layers now if you see the shape this layer I can move it I can just say layer lock now what I want to lock I'll say I lock all basically I just don't want the layer to move so now you see this I cannot move this layer it's taking the next layer as uh, I'm selecting the layer here but it's showing lock it's same as using this key lock it's the same as locking from layer lock layer most of the people they just lock it from here which is the best thing to do now we can either just use this also If it's not a smart object, you can also lock it from here. And it comes the same thing. So I'll lock this one. Now, actually, this layer locking is a little different. If I use this option, now for example I have white here I want to fill this if I say alt and backspace is supposed to fill the layer but I only want to fill the contents of this layer so I just lock it and I use alt and backspace only the content get filled okay so it's the same as using layer block layers but transparency okay 
so it's like this and fill so you're only locking the transparency so there are different options here it's the same as here clear lock layer is the same one two three four one two three four and this is lock all five okay now layer link layers now let's see that part so now for example say my Trevor L layer the rectangle layer and the Lewis layer I'm moving them separately now if I hold a shift shift and shift and I select these three layers I'll say layer link layer so these three layers are linked now I can use any one and I can move it so for example if I use this layer all three will move if I select Lewis and move the Lewis layer all three will move so that's the linking part new layer and link layers if I, it's only unlink this but if I select all three and I can layer the three so one two three so layer unlink layers all are gone now layer link layer so say for example I layer link layers now if I go to any other layer and I click on layer sorry first I select link layer selecting both layers so for example if I am using this and I am linking these three layers and I select only one layer now I can go and say layer select link layers it will select all these three layers and that's it so I'll just go to the next option now merge layers merge visible flatten image before that I just want to take off my linking so I'll just unlink layers so now you can see layer merge down so for example I want to merge these three layers so I say layer merge it's changing to shape because these are shapes so I'll say merge shapes it's merged all so it's made it into one layer now say for example I want to layer merge layers we we'll merge these two layers into one these two are merged into one so you see Lewis and circle now say for example merge visible so I'm hiding this and I only want to merge Lewis and rectangle so it will merge so I'm hiding few layers and now whichever layers are visible it will merge only those layers so layer I'll select my layers and I'll say layer merge visible it will only merge the visible layers and the ones which I have hidden are not merged and the last option over here is layer flatten image flatten will flatten all the layers and it will make it one into a background layer so layer whether you select anything or don't select it will just flatten all the hidden and unhidden layers visible layers flatten discard ok so it's done ok so that's it that's all for the layer menu matting is something which we are not going to use so I am not going to explain that so please practice all these options and any doubts you have please let me know in the comment section and I will feel really happy to answer all of the questions so thank you and see you for the next class which will be the type and select so please do subscribe and click the bell icon thank you